Hi folks, I've been searching for a special Bluetooth module for my project I have in my mind. The functionality I've been looking for called HFP or hands-free profile. So I've been searching for this keyword for some time. I find the BK8000L chip is thought to be capable for that function. So what is this hands-free profile is good for? First we can dial and call any number in the phone. So I've ordered this module from Alibaba as it is a compact module with an integrated amplifier in it so I do not have to mess around with the amplification of the voice. As you can see there are pins for the serial communication but unfortunately I couldn't manage to get any serial data from the module. Now the Electro Dragon Shop has the same module BK8000L but as they have a documentation for it and they said in the documentation that it is capable for the communication what I need. I said, let's give it a try. And the Retro Dragon was so kind to send me some samples for the tests. So let's check out this breakout module first. First of all, I need to solder in some pins for this breakout module. My choices are to put pins on the legs. This way I can still read the labels on it. And I can put it on, on the breadboard like this. But as you can see, this breakout module has two rows. This makes it impossible to connect both rows in a breadboard like this. The next possibility is to use female pin header like this. But this way I just cover the labels. So what I was came up with is to solder in the pins I just need for this test now. This way I can manage to still get some wires under the connections. So the next step is, should I use it in this way up or this way up? As it has labels on both sides. I wanted to use this side up because this way I can see the indicator LEDs but then it became a bit interesting here I don't know if you can see it in the camera this pin is labeled with BAT so I put the pin in this slot and I turn it around it says volume negative and the battery should connect to here that is volume positive on the other side so what's going on here? It might happen that this breakout is capable to connect two types of Bluetooth module but in that way I don't know how to connect the indicator LEDs because it have only indicators on this side so either of the labels are just wrong. So which one is wrong? Let's check it out. When I follow the trace for this LED it arrives for this pin and from this pin to down here it says auxiliary left when I turn it in this side it says LED 0 let's put it in LED 1 LED 1 follow the trace it's just the bottom LED so the labels on this side is just not good for us so let's use this side as a reference for the labels I need to connect for this test the ground, the battery, the RX and TX pins but I also will connect the ground here and the ground here for a better stability so let's give it 3.6 volts The LED is flashing under it, the Bluetooth model is connected. On the next test I've hooked up an oscilloscope to the TX pin and let's see is there any data arriving from the module when turning it on. There is definitely something was sent from the module. And you see when I do the same things with the one right from the AliExpress, nothing has appeared on the screen. So no data transferring from the module. But the difference can be with the two modules that these modules are pre-programmed by the manufacturer. So it might can happen that the manufacturer programmed them in a different way. But in this case I do not understand why do the RX and TX pins are populated in this module. And no communication and no answer arise from these pins. And of course no documentation for this one. On the contrary, the one arrived from Electro Dragon, they have a very nice documentation on their site. So please check out the link in the video description. So the setup is the following. 
We have the Bluetooth module here, we have a voltage regulator and a serial to USB converter which is a 3.3 volt logic level converter. We have the power from the USB to the voltage regulator which will provide 3.3 volt to the Bluetooth module. Of course I've connected the RX here to the TX here and the TX here to the RX here. At least this setup was my first try. But as the module always went in power of mode, I had to admit that the voltage regulator cannot provide enough juice for the module. So I've replaced it with a 3.7 volts lithium ion battery. So when we power off the module, it will send the text on. After some moments, the Bluetooth connection was made and the double I was sent from the module. Now let's ask the module status flags. The connection status is C1, that means that connected. The playback status is MA, meaning not playing. The HFP status is M1, meaning we are not in call. Okay, so let's start the music. Now what you can see is that I've paused and resumed the playback on the phone. Let's try some playback options. Fast forward, rewind, stop. Now I dial a number on the phone. The indicator PR appeared, but note that the number is broken. Now let's ask for the HFP status, that is M4, meaning we are on a call. Ok, so let's hang up from the terminal. Now redial the last dialed number. Good. Now the number appeared correctly. Let's test the status again and hang up. And that was the point where I have realized that I don't have a command to dial any number I wish. As a conclusion, I should have nothing to complain about the module you can buy from Electro Dragon as it works just as it was described. However, I'm a bit disappointed that I cannot freely dial any number I wish according to the documentation, even though the HFP specification clearly provides this feature. But if you need some manual control about the Bluetooth features, or you want to have nice feedback what's happening on the phone, I can still recommend you this product. As always, please check the video description for details. But that's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.